what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today we're going to talk about terrifier 3 we'll be talking about another update on that halloween game and then i'll share my thoughts on it just to give a reminder to anyone who was let down by what they saw uh we'll talk about crawl 2 and we'll talk about smile 2 so just start off here with terrifier 3 terrifier 3's full trailer is arriving next month possibly according to brad miska with bloody disgusting brad tweeted the following and followed it up with a response to someone asking when we could expect it he said this movie is so massive and jam-packed that the trailer barely scratches the surface of what's coming to theaters this october and it's still bonkers and then prior to that it was a tweet that said working on the full terrifier 3 trailer and it's a monster and like i mentioned they followed it up to someone who was asking when we could expect it they said possibly next month so we could get the terrifier 3 full trailer in september now the film is dropping on october 11th and as exciting as brad makes the film sound i'm good with the two teasers that we have that's just me i understand that it's for the general public more than anything but me personally this movie has done enough to get me excited um I understand it will benefit from a full trailer, but Terrifier 3 has done a pretty good job with marketing itself in a less is more sort of way while still having a lot of hype around it. But now the trailer will be used to gain attention from general audiences who are not in the nitty gritty of it all the way some of us have been for the past year almost when it comes to staying up to date on all things terrifier 3 i suspect the trailer will show jonathan's college life and maybe we'll meet the alleged blaster man sienna's dad like to draw since he's rumored to have been into comic books we'll possibly see sienna's cousin since she was absent in the last teaser from what i could tell what do you want from this trailer do you find the trailer to be unnecessary let me know all that down below now we're going to jump into halloween so halloween and ash versus evil dead's trailer dropped online yesterday after the official halloween movie pages tease more to come following monday's video game announcement as a reminder if you were disappointed by what you saw in that trailer the ign article from monday did mention two games not one but two are on the way and the one most of us are probably going to engage with the most is in early development it reads the two new games are being developed in association with Compass International Pictures and Furtherfront with Unreal Engine 5 projects still in early development. I suspect this game will be the one that's more story-based, possibly solo player driven, and more immersive overall. Now, as someone who despises the multiplayer wasteland on Friday the 13th, I'd rather this Michael Myers game just be a solo project. I'm good on multiplayer, don't need it. I don't need multiplayer. That's not to say that it'll be a wasteland like what ended up happening with Friday the 13th, the game. I just would rather see a solo project right now. And if you want to incorporate multiplayer in the future, sure. I'd rather right now, though, just see a solo player driven Halloween game based on the 1978 original with us reliving those iconic moments that the article teased. And let's just go from there. I don't really see a need for multiplayer i mean i have i have dead by daylight for that because michael's michael's in dead by daylight isn't he but whatever now we're gonna talk about crawl 2 so crawl 2 is a go the hollywood reporter dropped this news a few days ago says paramount pictures is crawling back for more the studio is deep in development on a sequel to crawl it's gator gnashing horror movie released in 2019 and is eyeing a fall shoot in europe Andrew Andrew Dushman and Jason Pagan, known for pinning horror flick Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, and Time Travel Romp Project Almanac, are writing the script. It goes on to say the same French-born director who directed the original is returning. He, they will also be producing. Sam Raimi is involved, who produced the original as well. Now, I will say I enjoyed Crawl, and it came out during a storm in my state, which made my first viewing even better is it stupid in ways yes <laughs> however creature films like this can be so much worse that it's difficult for me to just write this off as complete trash i i will say that the ghost dimension writer doesn't make me very confident but i will give them a pass since paranormal activity was already a mess hopefully what they are cooking up with crawl 2 won't be a mess because again while the first film isn't perfect it was one of the better creature films to be released in theaters in that year and just one of the better creature films to be released 
that year in general also if i'm comparing it to then uh what was that movie 47 meters down uncaged come out that same year and now while i did enjoy the first 47 meters down it's not like a masterpiece or anything i thought that was just a solid movie decent enough uncaged was a train wreck in a lot of ways did i still have fun with uncaged sure but then but then the movie Crawl was the better creature film that was released that summer. I think it came out during the summer. So hopefully Crawl 2 can live up to expectations and be something that's more along the lines of what we got in that original film. I think it's also supposed to be based in New York. Isn't this movie supposed to be based in New York? So we'll see what happens with Crawl 2. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Smile 2. Smile 2 is coming this October. And I just wanted to share something with you guys. Some things you can expect in the movie. Now, as you've seen on Twitter, or if you haven't, yes, the film 100% features a star, a cameo appearance from someone who appeared in the original Scream. I do want to highlight that they appeared in the original Scream. So it has a Scream alumni in it. It is not Kyle Gowner. Kyle Gowner is already in the movie. <laughs> now, the film's opening starts with some sort of botched drug, drug exchange, since we know our film is set on this pop star who has her own addictions with drugs the film's opening is linked to some botched drug exchange that set things in motion for our demon to make its way to our pop star known as sky riley here's another thing you did you i guess you can know so if you recall in the first film rose had a source of trauma for that demon to feed off of but that was from her childhood sky's source of trauma is related to an accident that happened a year ago that she blames herself for now it caused her to step away from the music world and now she's deciding to return to it after recovering from that accident but she blames herself because something happened during the accident as for the soundtrack naomi scott has at least one more original song in store for us according to what i've heard from multiple sources that is all I wanted to share related to Smile 2. As for a second trailer, I don't know when one would drop. I would expect Paramount is going to pick up the marketing in September. We'll start seeing all these strange occurrences like we did last time probably. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.